There are many reasons men love James Bond. Obviously, the suits, the cars, the action. But definitely another reason is his effortless success with women. Now, of course, these movies are completely fictional. However, there are some things that the character of Bond does with the words he uses, his body language, and also his mindset that lead to him being successful with women and that you could replicate and actually see results in your dating life. A very important part of James Bond's seduction technique is his use of double entendre. Double entendre quite literally means double meaning. So he speaks with words and phrases that are slightly suggestive and therefore flirtatious. Take a look here at the way he discusses games with Sylvia Trench. Too bad you have to go. Just as things were getting interesting. Yes. Tell me, Miss Trench, do you play any other games? I mean, uh, besides Chemin de Fer. It's very important to note that although he's being flirtatious and seductive, he's not being overly sexual or inappropriate. They are by no means, that's what she said type of jokes. When using this flirtation technique, it's also important not to overdo it. Not every single thing you say should be a double entendre. And we do see that in the Roger Moore James Bond movies, he definitely took this a bit too far. It was very corny and cheesy because pretty much every word that came out of his mouth was a double entendre. Keeping the British end up, sir. However, you can sprinkle these clever lines throughout the conversation and it will take her mind to a more romantic, flirtatious place. Double entendre is especially powerful when combined with eye contact. James Bond is a master at strong, confident eye contact whether he's dealing with his enemies or his lovers. Now, eye contact is essential for building rapport in every situation, whether it's a business situation, you're simply hanging out with friends, or you're trying to seduce somebody. The important thing to note is that James Bond is not afraid to hold extended, intensive eye contact to show his interest. And when that eye contact is matched, by the lady, it creates a very strong feeling of attraction and connection. But there is a difference between seductive, intense eye contact and simply staring at somebody. Notice how Bond delivers the odd, wry, subtle smile. Very charming, very seductive, very similar to something that you would see, for example, Cary Grant do in his movies. And while holding this eye contact, while delivering these lines, Bond's body language is very slow and controlled. That shows that he is confident, he's calm and collected. Being easily flustered, being very fast moving, fast talking can be very anti-seductive, especially when dealing with ladies. Whether knowingly or not, James Bond definitely employs some variation on the push-pull technique. For example, when setting up a date to play golf with Sylvia, Notice how he half arranges the date, but leaves her to fill in the gaps. More afternoon then? Tomorrow? Mm -hmm. See you. And uh, we could have dinner afterwards, perhaps? Sounds tempting. May I um, let you know in the morning? Bond uses a more brash version of this technique in Casino Royale when he tells Vesper Lind in the car that she is not his type. Am I going to have a problem with you, Bond? No. Don't worry, you're not my type. Smart. Single. Whether you are leaving her to fill in the gaps or even delivering a subtle dig, this push-pull technique is very effective in drawing women closer to you and making them aware of their own attraction to you. Use this one only modestly. It's not very gentlemanly to be deliberately cruel or mean. However, saying you're not my type because you're not married is obviously a joke and not a personal insult. I just want to take a pause for a moment to acknowledge that it's very important for Bond's seduction strategy that he's always well-dressed and he puts himself in the right places. None of these techniques would be so effective if he didn't look the part. And I'm not talking about him being handsome and not even necessarily talking about his body. It's more the way he grooms himself and the way he dresses. Dress like this and you are sure to be noticed by women wherever you go. And it's important that you do go somewhere if you want to meet more women. Yes, 
dating apps can be great. However, I recommend that you simply go to the types of places that you like to go to, whether that's a casino or something more contemporary like a bar or a restaurant or a coffee shop. You need to look like the best version of yourself and then put yourself out there to meet as many people as possible. That said, Bond is certainly never focused on meeting women. He simply goes about his life, whether that's pleasure or business, and does what he wants to do. And if he meets somebody along the way, then that's fantastic. But you'll never see Bond chase after a woman. You never see Bond cold approach, trying to get five, ten phone numbers in a day. If anything, he allows the women to approach and chase him. And even when they do come to him, he is still very self-assured. Look at the way he ends his interaction with Sylvia at the Ambassadors Club. May I um, let you know in the morning? Splendid. My number's on the card. Today, it would be much more common to see a man ask for the lady's number or her Instagram. However, to simply give it to her gives her the option of if she wants to, she will text you, she will call you. Bond, however, is very self-assured that she will be calling. And if you've seen the rest of the movie, you'll know she goes much further than that. And this is a very simple action step that you could take right now. Next time you meet a woman, instead of asking her for her phone number, carry a pen and a small notepad with you, write your phone number out and say, here's my number, give me a call, I would love to take you out to dinner sometime. It's very classy, it's very respectful, and it shows an incredible amount of confidence that is very rare among men today. Gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and that you've learned some actionable dating advice from the character of James Bond. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these techniques in your dating life and if they've been effective for you. Maybe you are a master of double entendre, eye contact, or maybe you're simply unfocused on women and self-assured that they will come to you. For today's outfit, I decided to pay subtle tribute to the Sean Connery era of James Bond. I'm wearing a dark navy suit with a blue dress shirt by Charles Tewitt, a navy knit tie by Ota Brothers, a simple white linen pocket square. On my wrist, no, it's not a Rolex Submariner. It's my great-grandfather's 1951 Burnex. And then on my feet, a simple pair of black Capto Oxford Shoes by Ace Marks. You'll find the link to all of these products in the description.